filming. It looks like, well, like right now it's not raining really. Maybe a few drops. Uh, not a very big town, but it's an old town. It's a farming community. So I figured it might be worth the drive out here. All right, guys. So I found one guy out there selling some stuff. He had some stuff back in the garage. Picked up a nice chair. Definitely, uh, definitely, definitely, definitely overpaid for everything here. Um, in that, it's more than I usually would pay, but I'll still make a decent little profit off it. The chair is actually pretty good. Um, probably worth... I don't know probably everything that i paid for it'll definitely cover it might make a little profit off the chair guys it's starting to rain here a little bit more so you know i might hang out for an hour because people might start putting things out if it you know stops or so but you know by 10 o'clock i don't know if anybody's going to be continuing to think about yard sailing so, so a lot of the old saying is it only takes one and uh that's all it took, one yard sale, make this whole trip unbelievable. I mean, unbelievable. So this guy is a pop collector, downsizing. He's a tool guy, snap-on. I mean, pop and snap-on. I mean, it's just it just screams money. So anyway, make a long story long, this uh, the situation is is this. I am completely packed. I got, I think, eight crates, uh, maybe nine, I can't even remember. I got a Pepsi stand, an old vintage Pepsi stand. I got tons of bottles, 100 to 150 bottles. Just all the crates are full, everything's full. I got blow molds for for Halloween. Blow molds are hot right now, so those will be really good come October. They're gonna be flying out the uh, flying out of the booth. Just a super duper pick. There's a sign here, 1930s old Pepsi sign. You don't see them every day. There's one on Kijiji for 2,200. People can ask whatever they want. It, it very well could be a $2,000 sign. This guy wanted a thousand bucks for it. They're downsizing. They're in a situation where they're kind of forced to sell some stuff. Um, I might even make arrangements to come up here before they move. Um, unload a lot of their stuff. Now, a lot of it's vintage. A lot of it's kind of 90s old. Not So that's not very old. But like trucks, pressed steel trucks, that kind of thing. It's probably going to want a little bit for them. So, but maybe when they're desperate, more, a little more desperate. And I'm not taking advantage of them. I'm going to be there to help them because I can't make money. It's not worth my time right now. The prices that he's probably going to want for a lot of that stuff. I spent hours. I was up in the top of the garage digging and pulling out the uh, the pop. He had some weird stretched Pepsi pop that used to be, uh, the some guy did it and they were carnival prizes, fair prizes. Um, I mean, I, I might remember someone doing that i i just i can't really say i know for sure but uh those got to be 30 dollars a piece i paid i paid 30 for four um so if they're 25 dollars a piece there's 100 bucks so i got this i got this there's some snowmobile brochure books and stuff in there this i don't even know if this is worth anything just an old bottle an old mailbox it's quite large this, I think this is copper. If this is copper, it's worth money just for the copper. It's an old chair. Pop bottle. Look at that blow mold there. Oh, these are the stretched ones. So I thought that was kind of neat. People might like that. I got four of those. That's another, another one. More blow molds. Right there. Did I pay too much? That's the question, be honest. This is 1935 metal sign. It's got a little rust here, a little split, okay? 
to be expected. Rare, rare, rare. Very rare. Uh, you would have saw this in the car earlier part of the video. I just wanted to show you again. This here, I paid up. I paid a lot. I've seen these things go for way over $1,000 at times, these type of signs. Orange Crush, Root Beer, 7-Up. I'm hoping because of the age, this is going to be a really, really good one. All right, guys. So I'm going to do a quick showdown of everything we got. Uh, when you go yard sailing and you find a pick where the people are moving, they're kind of desperate, this is what happened. Tremendous price for all these. These are Pepsi crates here. Uh, this year, probably get 65 out of the booth. Nice metal with some advertising. I'm going to look it up, but 65 is my guess. I have sold metal box uh, with advertising and stuff for $80. So this one could be more. I have to check it out, but definitely a 65. Pepsi, 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 Vernon's, and uh, I got a team lime drink full of bottles in there. So this guy was a pop collector, mostly was Pepsi, and this is a collection kind of gone out of control. You should have seen the house. If I had more room in the truck, I would have bought more. Um, the prices were very good on some things that were a little expensive, but I understood his point. But this stuff was gold. This stuff, basically the bottles are free. And I'm going to make a, I'll probably make all my money back and profit just on the bottles alone. Here's what I mean. So when you're a pop collector and you put these in the booth, you might not get a whole lot, but you got crush advertisement. There's crushed bottles. You could put all the crushed bottles in one of these things and probably you get 30 bucks for it uh or more uh these crush bottles alone can go for i think i've sold them out of the booth for eight bucks a piece there's lots of crush bottles there's neat looking ones like this i don't really know but i think this is an older one this could be 15 dollars. i'd have to look into it but that's just a guess there's another one there so i'm gonna go over these but there's all sorts of different bottles some won't sell some some you might have to lot up, and that's okay. If I can lot them up and put them in a nice, clean, nice, clean uh, case. There's another old bottle. Not sure exactly what they're worth, but I'm going to look them up, and we'll let you know in another video. Ten crates in total, all full. Probably three of them weren't full of bottles. Everything else had bottles. There's even big bottles. I don't know if I can show you right now. If, but there's bigger bottles. That's probably bigger bottles there. Bigger bottles in there for sure. I haven't even heard of this. Have you heard of that one? This here, to me, looks older too. Got a nice push bar. Now, these things have some value. Now, I was thinking around $225, $250. I paid $100 for this. He wanted $125. I bought so much stuff. I said, I'll give you $100 for it. He did. Has a condition issue here. But overall, overall the, push, the porcelain... Uh, the message there and the advertisement is great uh adam, adam thinks i could maybe even get 300 so i was over showing him today and he said start at 300 and see what happens so that's what i'm going to do when i was up in the attic grabbing these things now i was up in the garage dust mice droppings insulation all sorts of shit up there and uh i saw these blow molds so we'll uh we're gonna do videos on, uh, there's a nice reindeer one. They got it rigged up to look like Rudolph, but uh, I'm gonna do videos going forward. This is just a picking video. Going forward, I'll show you what I'm gonna price them at. With uh, Snap-on tools in there. Uh, these, probably about 40, 45 bucks online. Planes, we've seen them before, but they're in very good condition. Three of them, four of them in there. 30 bucks, I think you got 10 on those. This is from a different yard sale. Uh, it's got a fire hose in there. I, I mean, the nozzles alone got to be worth something. He wanted 20 bucks for the whole thing. I figure I could take the fire hose out, sell it, 
take the nozzles off, sell them, and then probably sell the box and probably get 30 bucks for the uh, the box alone. This is uh, part of something different. I'm going to show you in a minute. Here's some team lime drinks with the uh, crate. 20 bucks for that chair. Probably get 85 to 100 out of the booth. I got to do some work on it, see if it's got uh, any uh, maker mark on it or anything. Look at these. Look at these. Money, 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 money. Using that as a garbage can. He's using that as a garbage can. Pulls, I said, well, I don't want the garbage. So he pulls the garbage out, hands me the bucket. Uh, there's also some ski -Doo sticker, and uh, in there is a uh, owner's manual to a ski -Doo. So those will sell 20 bucks for the man owner's manual all day long. I almost forgot. There is something else. Uh, remember this wire basket, because in a second you're going to understand what I'm talking about. So this here. This here attaches in there, and uh, it's actually a light bulb. Well, it's uh, non-working. It definitely needs to be rewired. I knew that anyway. So I can fix that up. Check out this beauty. So you don't see this kind of stuff every day. Very desirable, even though it's in pretty rough condition. It needs to be cleaned up, to say the least. But uh, it's got lots of... Uh, Lots of advertising, lots of patina. Some people might not call it that. Watch a little Blue Bus Dave in the background, by the way. But, uh, yeah, so uh, the basket fits in here as well. I think it clips in up here, sits here, so you can hold stuff there. You can put your crates in here, put some bottles up here. Be a nice little display for the store. You know, if somebody was to redo that, it would be absolutely fantastic, but... I'd probably put it in the booth. I'm going to put the crates probably in it. Put some bottles on top. And uh, Bob's your uncle. Well, I do have an Uncle Bob, so maybe he's my uncle. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for now. I'll show you more on these. I'm going to do an episode just on the pop so you can see exactly what I got, what I expect to get out of all this stuff. And that's going to do it for now. Till next time, Antiques and Profits. Mm -hmm.